All right, another mystery. Will I be pleasantly surprised or will I feel like a sucker? Only one way to find out. <laughs> hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. We are obviously unboxing my Beautylish Lucky Bag. It's finally here. You know, I, I have to say, I just have to say that, you know, I feel bad for brands. I know that there's a lot of stuff with shipping right now. Obviously these brands are unlucky, but man, this was kind of a snafu. I'm not even gonna go into it, but the Lucky Bag is finally here. So what I do want to say is that I have purchased a Lucky Bag every year for the last, I don't even know, seven years or so. I don't even know how long Lucky Bags have been a thing, but I've been buying one Mmm, boy, if they've been going 10 years, I bet it's been 10 years. Anyway, a hot minute. I have switched around between the XL and the regular. Uh, this year, I just went with a $75 regular bag. And the reason for that is kind of twofold. I'm gonna be honest, uh, the day of the sale, I sort of forgot. I was like stalking the site until like 30 minutes before the sale, and then I kind of forgot. So by the time I got on, like a half an hour after the sale, or maybe an hour after the sale started, boom, the XLs were already gone. And that's okay. The other reason kind of is because I was still kind of like on the fence, because last year I did the XL bag, box, whatever you want to call it, and I was pretty disappointed because there was like basically one skincare item, a hyaluronic acid, that like basically took up most of the value of my box. So I was kind of like, Meh. I don't know about that. So this is okay. I'm sort of like, I'm giving Beautylish another chance. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Like mystery bags and boxes, cause I'm a sucker for those if you are new to this channel. Uh, I did just recently get one of the Beautylish Wayne Goss surprise bags. So if you did want to see my reaction to that, I will make sure to have that one linked down below. I don't think that I have taped a lucky bag unboxing before. I think I did it live on Instagram last year, but we are here today to dive in. Without further ado, let's do just that. Okay, dun, 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 dun. fingers crossed. I have, okay, I have watched one video. I've only watched one video and that was Danny from Scars to Stars. I know that she got the XL bag. I have Samantha March's video on my queue and a couple others because I, I didn't want any sneak peeks because I feel like there's always at least one item in the box that is in every box. I think I might already know what that is. I think it's the Good Molecules Glycolic Toner. We'll see if I'm right about that, but uh, I didn't want to see any, any surprises. So if you are new to the Lucky Bag experience, by the way, here you go, it's beautifully packaged. We have this beautiful uh, artwork on the paper this year, and I learned from Danny in her video that it is a Minneapolis-based artist this year, so that's really cool. I know that's where Danny's from. So this uh, comes out around the beginning of the year every year, and I just, I just love a good mystery. So you have several options, you have a a uh, light medium and then a dark variation. And I think there is the regular sized bag, even though it comes in a box, that is $75 worth 150, or you have the XL, which is 150 worth 300. You also have a Jeffree Star box, which I cannot believe that Beautylish is still doing that, but whatever, we are gonna move on from that. We have the regular size one right here. Let's go ahead and pop this open. I'm just trying to get some of this filler out of the way. I will say, <laughs> this feels kind of, this feels kind of empty. I don't know if that's like a good sign or what, but okay, sorry for the rustling there. Uh, there's just no way to go about this and not surprise myself and also do it quietly. Does that make sense? All right, so the first thing, oh, I wonder, it is. This is what Danny got in her bag. Okay, yeah, it is the Hindesh palette. So uh, I'm sure if you have not seen this palette, you don't have Instagram. <laughs> but if you have seen this palette, you will know I'm gonna just pop it up right here. Uh, so it's a gradient of matte shades that you can use like either end or you can kind of like blend and mix. So I really, I will probably open this up just to make sure it's not shattered, but I am just not sure, I'm just not sure how I feel about this palette. I think it looks really beautiful. I know that Samantha Ravindahl like loves this. I just don't know if, if it's something that I need to keep. So I'm kind of like, mm, I'm not sure. 
So I guess like for me, I need to sit on this for a second. Uh, we will see what else is in the box, but if this is the only eyeshadow palette in here, I'm kind of like, oh, darn it. Like, but it could really be a good staple in my collection. Like something that I can like use with other like nice shimmery shades. I'm, I'm just unsure yet. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I feel a brush. <gasps> Yay. It's a Sonia G crease pro. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love me some Sonia G eye brushes. I definitely have some of her brushes listed in my favorite brushes. By the way, if you haven't seen that, I will have that one linked down below. This will definitely be used. I always love a brush. I'm always glad that there is a brush. Did I, did I get a brush last year? Oh my gosh. I, now I really wish that I had done a video because uh, I don't remember. And I remember that that live on Instagram might have been my first one because I didn't save it. I think I like didn't know how, but I can't remember if I got a brush last year or not, but I'm very glad to have one this year. Regardless, I did sort of see some good molecules packaging in here. So I'm just going to pull out what I think is probably yes. Okay. So this is, oh, okay. This isn't what I thought it was going to be. This is the Rosewater Daily Cleansing Gel. So <laughs> I'm both excited and not excited to get this. I'm really excited to try this out, but if you are not new to my channel, you will know that I have quite the skincare hoard right now. So I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping that most of this would be makeup, uh, but I'm totally fine getting some skincare. Cleanser is something that, you know, you always need at some point. So I'm excited to give this one a go. This one says that it's a gentle cleanser to balance and brighten the skin. So this will definitely be nice to try out. It says that rose water is high in antioxidants and helps maintain a bright skin tone. So I'm excited to give this one a go. If you've tried this, by the way, let me know in the comments down below how you like it because uh, it's going to go into my hoard and sit there for a little bit. I just cracked a cleanser open recently, so I won't be needing that one for a little while. <laughs> All right, here we have, ah, a Wayne Goss. Ooh, okay, this is an eye coal. I'm excited, I love these. I love these. I was hoping it wasn't one of the lip ones, not because I don't like them, I do. They're a little bit firmer, but I actually have all of the lip, uh, the lip crayons. So I don't have all of the eye crayons. And I was just the other day on the Beautylish website, like kind of looking, I was like, oh, okay, let me look and see like which ones I don't have. So Obsidian is just like, a black black. I'm not going to like swatch it right now, but it's just a black black. I really like these. They are very creamy. They're very easy to use on the waterline. You can use them, you know, close to the lash line, smudge it out for a little sexy smoky look. I'm very excited to have this one. All right, here we have, <gasps> okay. It's a Danessa Myricks color fix. And guess what? It's one that I don't have. What are the chances of that? So this is the matte and it's the shade Latte. Let me bust this open because uh, again, well, let me just make sure in my in my hoard over here that I don't have this one. No, I don't have this one. Okay, awesome. I'm so excited. Oh, yes, this is totally going to be used. I will get a little closer here so you can see this one. So this is the shade Latte. It's just a beautiful, like, I would say it's like a mauve but it's not like too pink. Let me, I'll just put a little bit on my hand here. Ooh. Yeah, oh, I could have used this as a lip color with today's look, but. Ooh, so pretty. Mm hmm. I was thinking about getting this one in like the Black Friday sales everywhere because I love me some Danessa Myricks color fix. I don't have all the mattes. At, at one point, I would love to have all of them, even though like a tiny drop. I mean, if you guys didn't see that, it was just like a pin, pin prick, boop, right there. And that's a lot of color right there. So, very excited to have this one. So far, so good, you guys. Okay, I think we have two more products in here. Okay, this is okay. This is an okay one. <laughs> this is a pair of Ardell lashes. These are the Natural 105s. Uh, these will, honestly, these are probably just gonna go into my makeup artist kit. Um, I, anymore, if I'm wearing lashes, they're either magnetic lashes or they are my lashes lashes. Usually they're my lashes lashes. I just, ugh. Lash Glue and I, we, we aren't friends. So um, these are like, okay, slightly disappointing because I feel like you can go to like any drugstore and get these. So having them in the lucky bag is kind of like, mm. but you know, you win some, you lose some. These will definitely get used at some point. Okay, this is the last item. I can't even tell what it is. Oh, okay. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution uh, hot lips. So which shade is this? 
Okay, so I don't see on here. Where do you see the color? Uh, okay, so, oh, it's right here. So this is the shade Hell's Bells. So I need to honestly do a little research. I'm gonna like pop a picture up here of what the color is, but y'all know that I don't love a like drying matte lipstick. Well, I mean, who loves a drying matte lipstick? Let's be honest, but like most matte lipsticks, I don't really love, but here it says luminous modern matte lipstick. So I'm gonna have to do a little research into this formula. I'm just looking here at the color in it uh, on my phone, by the way. <laughs> I'm just looking here at the color on my phone and it does look like it's a beautiful, like deep kind of like burgundy berry plum shade. So uh, definitely a nice one to have in a formula like this. I just don't know if it's gonna be too drying for me. So I have to do a little research on that, but someone will enjoy it. So let me just double check to make sure that that is it. That is it. I'm gonna go ahead and calculate this. We'll see what my total was. All right, so I went ahead and tallied everything up. So here is the rundown. The Hindash palette is indeed $70. That's crazy. Uh, the Danessa Myricks Color Fix is 18. My Sonia G brush is 32. The Ardell lashes are listed as $4.20, which let me tell you, you can find Ardell lashes cheaper than that. But <laughs> the Wayne Goss uh, Eye Coal is $14 and the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick is 34. And by the way, I did not realize that Charlotte Tilbury is like so close to like Lisa Eldridge prices. What is Lisa Eldridge, like 36? Hold on, please stand by. Yeah, okay, Lisa Eldridge is 36. That That is just crazy to me. Oh, I almost forgot this. It's like set over to the side here, so I didn't see it. So the Rosewater Daily Cleansing Gel is $12. So altogether, that takes us up to $184.20. So for me, for me, I guess, okay. For me, obviously a big part of it is gonna be whether or not I want to keep this. Now, whether or not I keep it or I pass it along in a giveaway, I think that, you know, the value is like, it's amazing to get a $70 palette in here. So even if I take this off, that's still $115-ish in stuff that I got for $75. So that's still not too bad. So these three things that I truly like was planning on buying at some point, I don't know if I would have gotten the Wayne Goss pencil in black. Um, I mean, I love a good black pencil, but I have some black pencils, but this one will definitely be a nice one to have. Sorry, I keep rattling it around. The latte shade was on my list and I can always use another Sonia G brush. So for me, the extra value will come out of this box. If I enjoy this cleanser, which I think that I probably will, I just haven't heard much about it yet. This is like, meh. I, I feel like they maybe had some extras on hand and just like decided to chuck them into the box. And that's like, that's a really hard thing to put into a box because a lot of people don't wear lashes. I know that like here in the YouTube sphere, so many people wear lashes, but I feel like on the day to day, I don't feel like that many people wear lashes. Am I wrong? Am I just so out of touch now everybody's wearing lashes? I don't know. So I guess it's gonna be down to whether or not I decide to keep the Hindash palette, but either way, I think that this is one that if I don't keep it, someone else will be able to get really great use out of, and then I need to check into this lipstick formula. So we will see, but altogether, I am I am much happier with this year's box than last year's box. Just because like I said, like that uh, that hyaluronic acid that I got, it was like a hundred dollars. And I don't I don't have anything against hundred dollar skincare items, but maybe not like a hyaluronic acid. Like I can find things that like give me a little moisture, a little like juicy glow, uh, for way less than that. So that is that, that is my Beautylish bag. Uh, will I buy another one? Yes, absolutely. I'm sure that I will because I'm a sucker for a surprise. And I think that this was a good surprise. So let me know down below what you think. Now that I've opened this, I can't wait to see what everybody else has gotten. I think that this is just a fun way to gift yourself a little bit, to sort of like spread the holiday cheer like into the new year, uh, especially this time since they shipped out so late. So that is it. I will make sure to have all of these products linked down below if any of them caught your fancy, but that's gonna be it for all now. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy getting to see me open this bag, don't forget to give this video a like. It really does help me out here on my channel and I'll see you really soon.